Hola, ¿cómo estás? ¿Cómo estamos? Bien, bien, bien. qué bueno. Ok, ok, okay. okay gracias. Perfecto. Gracias. Good morning, guys. We spent the past few days just kicking it here in Onopiren, which is this little port town we ended up in. This morning, our alarm went off and we started to just get up nice and slow and realized, wow, the line is already moving to get onto this big boat. So it's a good thing we got up when we did. We haven't had our coffee or any breakfast yet. We just barely made it onto this big five hour long ferry, getting ready for the ride. And it's a beautiful day here in Patagonia. Doesn't get any better than this. <laughs> So yesterday, one of the days while we were waiting for our boat to arrive, I decided to make a loaf of sourdough. It came out pretty good. This morning I uh, cut up two pieces and I'm in the middle of eating one. I've got like two bites taken out. You see these two missing <laughs> bites? Allie just starts putting Nutella on it and decides that it's her piece. I didn't see the bite marks. That is unacceptable. <laughs> in my defense, it looked like it was kind of cut. You can't really see bite marks. He's got a wide mouth, so it just kind of looked like a rounded I was edge. just eating it. <laughs> I didn't see you eat it, I'm sorry. In case you guys are wondering, we do fight, <laughs> especially when Allie eats my bread. It's weird though that you don't want to put Nutella on this. We got Nutella because we haven't seen Nutella in years, well, months. We got some Nutella at the last big grocery store we were at, and I'm so excited about putting it on some sourdough bread in the morning, a little bit of breakfast with my coffee. Trent doesn't care at all. Ellie is obsessed with Nutella, so that tub of Nutella that we got, if she doesn't just eat it with a spoon, she's gonna eat it on anything she can, and it's gonna be gone in like a week. Well, we have set sail. We are on our way to Cabrolet Rio Grande. What was the name? Coleto Gonzalez. Coleto Gonzalez! Anyway, we are gonna jump out of the van. We're gonna go take a look around because supposedly this is a beautiful drive and we're gonna make sure of it. Drive or ride? Ride, drive, boat, float, whatever it is. where they're controlling the direction that we're going in, the speed that we're going in. This is awesome. And there's like 20 people in here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's not every day that Trent gets to drive the ship. Pretty cool. <laughs> We're just gonna pretend it was a battleship and not a ferry. <laughs> Check this out. There's different flags for all the different like call signs. And I think C means quarantine. Q. Go back. <laughs> Where is it? They don't have it. Oh. Q is quarantine. So if we have a coronavirus breakout, we've got to fly the Q and no one can come near our ship. I learned that from a lady in the military. See, this is why we cannot buy Nutella. Yeah, quit eating it. It's so good. All I want to do is eat it. Allie has an addiction. I tried to tell you guys she was eating it with a spoon. I told you she was going to do that. <laughs> Allie's going to be making us a fried egg sandwich, which is actually my grandma's specialty. Allie does a pretty good job. Wow. What? You know my grandma kills it with the fried egg sandwiches. <laughs> I feel like when I was a kid, I felt like my grandma invented the fried egg sandwich. And I would ask my mom, like, can you make the sandwich grandma makes? But my mom's never came out as good as my grandma's. Sorry, mom. I hope you're about to overcook those eggs. You wanna make this? <laughs> 
It's a very crucial part of the fried egg sandwich that the eggs are like a specific amount of gooeyness. It's better when the bread's toasted, but I know Allie's not gonna go for the toasted bread. I think she's just gonna try to do the, the raw bread, <laughs> which is fine. It's these little, these little increments that really just puts my grandma out there in the distance. Like she's just really, she's got a huge lead on everyone else making fried egg sandwiches. <laughs> That's pretty good. You like that? I attribute it mostly to the bread, but <laughs> that was very tasty. Wow, very surprised. Next time. Oh my gosh. <laughs> a little more salt and pepper, but overall, what a winner. Did you hear that everybody? It's delicious. So honestly, there are tons of reasons why we love living in a van, but I feel like this is probably number one because no matter where you go, no matter what you're doing, no matter where you are, you have your house with you. So we're on this ferry for five hours and instead of like having to sit on uncomfortable benches or crappy chairs and pay like $3 to drink a soda and wait for us to get to the other port, we can literally come down into our house, make a delicious breakfast, hang out, lounge in our bed, hang out with our dog. Like, I mean, the, the reasons definitely stack up, but this is the main reason that we love living in a van because your house is always with you. like really big gravel road so it's like and it's dirt so it's like really loose which is not the best for driving but it's also extremely like rough and beat up which is just like shaking our van to death but it's okay I built the van to be very resilient to be able to be shaken to death and hold together so we'll see uh, this is I mean it's, it's held up this far and it's still pretty strong so this is oh. this is a good test this is also a good test for the bike rack if anybody remembers all the trouble we had with that this road is like really brutal, so I'm gonna get out and double check all the tire pressures and make sure everything is in A-OK -okay condition. That ferry ride was beautiful, but five hours on a boat without any cell service is enough forced relaxation for me for one day. I did a face mask, I painted my nails, I even got a little fancy and pulled out some jewelry that I forgot that I still had in the van. These are actually earrings that Trent got me for Valentine's Day, I think like two years ago now. They're Ana Luisa earrings, and Ana Luisa is actually sponsoring today's video. They are some of my favorite jewelry of all time. Ana Luisa jewelry is all about environmental consciousness, sustainability, and quality. They use 100% recycled gold and sterling silver and their diamonds are all lab grown conflict free and exact same composition quality and brilliance as regular diamonds but they're not mined they're grown and they're beautiful <laughs> if you want to check out Ana Luisa jewelry we're gonna put all their information in the description below they're amazing go check them out we're gonna get on with this drive maybe an hour of driving on that uh, pretty treacherous dirt road and then all of a sudden it turned into a beautifully smooth gliding paved road and everything's back to normal we're super happy we passed a little lake and now we're getting some of these mountains and some of these mountains are like so magnificent we're also welcoming a ginger Clark Kent into our filming committee today breaking out the glasses because that dirt road was super gnarly and he actually wanted to see where he was driving. These are my nasal mounted binoculars. <laughs> they help me see really little things really far away. As we've been enjoying this gorgeous view, enjoying the drive, we've also realized maybe an hour or two ago, there hasn't been any towns and there hasn't been any gas stations. So we drove for a few hours, 
having a blast, but also realizing, oh, our gas tank is getting less and less and less. Definitely, we're getting a little bit nervous, but luckily, at the very last second, look what we found. Copac. It's a thousand a liter. What is that in uh, dollars per gallon? Maybe 3,000. So that's $20. A gallon? Maybe. What? 480? It's about 480 a gallon. It's probably closer to five bucks, but who knows? It's really hard to do the uh, the exchange rate in Chile in your head. You said, said it was twenty dollars. I said twenty dollars. I made a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> that was my brain being lazy, and I was like ninety percent of the way there, and I was just like, it's like twenty bucks. <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> We've been driving for a long time. <laughs> When I was about nine years old, my mom decided to dedicate an entire summer to taking me all around the state of Utah. We went to all the national parks. She thought it was really important to educate me and show me the different parts of my state. We did this in my grandma and grandpa's minivan. My grandma and grandpa came along on most of the journeys and we spent a lot of time in this van. I would say the seed of living in a van was planted when I was nine years old. Fast forward almost 25 years, I'm living in a van with my fiance and my dog, traveling through South America, and I'm totally mind blown that I live in a van. But I wouldn't have it any other way. So we pretty much drove for most of the day, if not, I guess you could say it was all of the day. We've made it to our campsite. I don't know if it even gets any better than that. I guess this in? is actually the ocean. It's an inlet. I think it's a fjord. I think that's the term. Apparently there's dolphins here. Yeah, supposedly there's dolphins at night and in the morning. So we're keeping our eyes peeled yeah. looking for dolphins. This is so cool. Oh my gosh. What a view. And there's like barely any wind. Yeah. There's like no wind. Are you hungry? Wow, look at where you're standing. You like it? Yeah, it's amazing. I'm in Patagonia. <laughs> Can't believe it. What are we gonna have for dinner? Uh, I don't know, but I'm gonna make it right now. All right. Commence dinner. We're having a mango. Wow. Looks pretty good. Looks amazing. It looks like you're like standing in front of a green screen. This background is- You guys like our new green screen? This is on, this is fake. This is 100% not real. It looks so fake, dude. It's like park, we were parked in front of a painting. Yes. This is Bob Ross and this is his painting. Lots of happy trees, happy mountains. We live in a painting now. Okay. We're gonna enjoy this mango, make this dinner, and eat it. I think another really big reason of why I love living in a van is that everywhere that you go, your house is with you, like that's obvious. But a lot of these other people that are traveling through Patagonia or all these other places that we've been, they're like traveling on bikes or backpacking or going from hotel to hotel. And like our house is already set up. There's no like tent we need to set up. There's no bed that we need to make. Frank's got his water out. We need to make food, but we have like basically a full kitchen to do it in. We just pull up, set up shop, get making dinner. It's just like the ease of living in a van is actually pretty high. There's like things that are kind of a pain in the butt, but they're far outweighed by like the, the courtesies and the luxuries of living in a van. You agree, my love? I do. It is crazy how many hitchhikers we've seen and just like today. There's been hitchhikers our whole journey, but now I think that we're in this iconic, trendy backpacker area. It's very rustic, it's very remote but there are tons of bikers and hitchhikers. I've never seen just like groups of people every couple miles. I feel bad, but um, at the same time, it's like you chose to do this. I can't, I can't pick you up today, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of sauce are we putting on this pasta? Tomato? Red sauce? Yeah. Do we have real tomatoes? Maybe. I think we should throw some real tomatoes in there if we have real tomato sauce. 
We do. Oh, winner, winner, chicken we dinner. Do, we do. Let's do it. <sighs> Our vegetable intake just went up, even though fruits, I think, are considered a Fruits tomato. are considered a tomato. <laughs> fruits are a tomato. Even everybody. though fruits are considered a tomato, even though uh, tomatoes are considered a fruit, I think we just upped our vegetable intake. In French, this would be called a mélange. A mélange? Mélange. It is a mix of pastas because Trent said we did not have enough pasta. But guess what, guys? Now we have oh. too much pasta. Whew, we didn't have a lot of options tonight. But I must say I whipped this together pretty quickly. Yeah, that looks absolutely delicious. I don't know why, whenever I make pasta with red sauce, it usually tastes really basic and it's not very good. Whenever Allie makes red sauce, she puts like secret stuff in it. I don't know what she does, but she makes it really delicious. You just have to be Italiano. Italiano? Italiano. Italiano. That's the secret, huh? That's it, it's all you need. Oh, uh, your fork is in the mango. <sighs> oh, that's good. Guess what, guys? This is why we live in a van. <laughs> You get to eat all day long, you're in your house, you can paint your nails, you can wear your favorite jewelry. And you, if you're lucky, you might just end up in Patagonia. You can wake up in Patagonia. <laughs> it's amazing. Thank you again to Ana Luisa Jewelry for sponsoring today's video. If you want to check out any of their products, we're going to leave all the information for them in the description below. Be sure to check them out. Go show them some love. Show us some love by giving us a like on this video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I'll talk to you soon, guys. See you guys on the next one. Adios. Call me out, tiger. Call me out, why don't you laugh? Lift me up higher. Above the clouds, won't you laugh?